trust Valo, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. Fair journeys, Warden. Those statues are dwarven paragons, if I remember right. The best of their ancestors. Imagine if all of those were golems. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branka, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. It is begun. Bread? Please, sir. Just a bit of bread. Show some pity for a poor old man. Show respect, surfacer. You're in the Hall of Heroes, home to the best of us. Paragons, dwarves who achieve such greatness, they're considered ancestors, even if they yet walk among us. If only we had one now. A unifier. A voice like that, there would be no dissension. Perhaps I don't want you to. A surfacer should not see us in this kind of disarray. Goodbye, Warden. I hope you're not needed. I have a question it may be able to answer, Elder Mage. Must it always be Elder Mage? I'm not a wizened old crone just yet. Would it prefer Mage well past her prime don't mind the sagging bits? You have an odd way of requesting answers to your questions. I'm curious about the abominations of the tower. Is it possible for such a creature to become human again? Yes, it is simply very difficult. It requires travel into the Fade. And? Is the mage the same afterwards as the mage was before? No, I have never met such a person, but no, they are changed forever. I understand. Thank you for the answer, wise one. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Arrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. 
Valen speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there, sort this all out in a hurry. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Yes, you should. Is Ozama. It's huge. For a tiny people, they certainly build high ceilings. Lava bad. Don't go near the lava. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail? At Janar's, we have everything from leather to platinum. I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, <laughs> I cannot object. I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fall and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Ancestors go. 
guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Mothers keep him safe, for you know what it is to mourn. I'm sorry, did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Uh, I don't know that word. This is a section of stone kept bare to receive our prayers. The stone gave rise to our people, and it is where their spirits return in death. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return, or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by Dark Spawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. Outsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The Assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against Dark Spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Maker's blessing on you, sister. Ah, it's a great pleasure to meet a fellow believer. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. There is... Uh, resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaper it, Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city. Every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. What is that smell? Dwarven vomit. Charming. Is that drunken singing I hear? 
I hope that is someone being murdered and not simply singing. Oh, wonderful. A dwarven tavern. I've always wanted to try some of their ale. I hear it's quite potent. I tried dwarven ale once. I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking, as a joke. A brawl would be a pleasant diversion right about now. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? <laughs> so you come to Tapsters? I guess you're not asking for anything official, or you'd be at the Shaper It. But I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. The nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. You'll find the assembly there, the palace, the Shaper It, and plenty of estates. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines, so my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the castles build their nest. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the proving. It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Quarter. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? I have an award-winning honey mead. Surface family ships it down here every month. Only one and a half silvers a mug. One honey mead coming right up. A few months ago, you might have seen the prince here, but now he never leaves his estate. Well, I have other customers to see too. If you need anything else, just call me over. Told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Lord Denik Helmi, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Badly. You're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. As you wish. They're everywhere! I can't take it! What? Get away! You'll change like the rest! Monsters hidden in all my friends. They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. 
See? I found copies. All from the same pen, and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out! I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't! Stranger, you looking for a stool to share a brew? I recommend the Lycan Ale. They brew it downstairs. Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Figured as much. Good folks, wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigers. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her old house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> I guess I'm shutting it down. We gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. 
I want to know if they would accept me for study. I want to go to the circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or well, maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad vein. I, uh... I cut myself, and the dust got scraped in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging. Then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. I, of course we are. W -w -w Weak surfacers like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I work the ore myself. 